All right. No, that's making it smaller. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> hold on. There we go. I'm a little scuffed. Now, I kind of jumped into this. I haven't done any research as to how the mechanics work. Oh my god, dude! This is so cool! The the music is 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 bumping, man. Is there a manual? Oh, there is a manual. Playing the game, shoot down enemies while dodging their bullet. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I, I, I imagine that's the, the name of the game. Story, a s mysterious spiritual substance that comes out of the body known as the divine spirit. It is a phenomenon observed in humans, yokai, and even fairies. It isn't particularly harmful, but certain girls can't leave well enough alone and head to the netherworld the most likely place to discover its origin. Oh, so we're going back to hell. Okay. Yeah, trans key is the C key, huh? So should I put my... Should I put my pinky on shift then? Because so far I've been playing with my index on X and my middle finger on Z. But for this game, should I shift down one row and put my index on C? Pinky on shift has always seemed horribly painful. You don't have to constantly have a finger on C. Okay. Screenshot peak. I can take a screenshot with the peaky. Where do they go? It's not doing anything. I- If- Okay, if I just saved like 20 screenshots, I don't know where they went. Because I just pressed P like 20 times. Count of energy- yeah, gray spirit gauge. Okay, here we go, spirit gauge. These are skull and spirit shaped gauges at the bottom left. If you miss when more than one gauge is filled, you'll enter the spirit realm. What? You will enter the spirit realm if you are hit with at least one gauge filled. Once the gauge runs out, your life is lost. You cannot stop in the middle. You will be unable to escape the grip of death. Okay. Okay, I have a question. What happens if you defeat the final boss after you got hit while your spirit gauge is running? You game over? Oh, that's that that would be funny. Like it would be like, oh I won! And like and then like I don't know. That I wonder if that's ever happened to anyone. If your gauge is filled to the maximum, you can enter the spirit realm at will by tra entering the trans key. In this case, you will not die when the gauge runs out. Okay. You cannot auto collect divine spit. What? What kind of BS is this? Oh no! It's the UFOs all over again. We did not need another UFO situation. It's the UFOs, except they don't move, I imagine. Or maybe they just fall like regular items. All spirit. So we'll refill your spirit gauge. When in the spirit realm, spirit's effects are amplified. Blue spirits increases the maximum point item value. Purple divine spirit adds to your life pieces. Okay, so they're just life pieces. Green divine spirit for bombs. White divine spirit increases the spirit gauge. Wait, do they- wait, all spirits will refill your spirit gauge. So actually, I should- I'm supposed- I should- I should collect all of them, not just the purple and green ones, and white ones. Special mechanics. If you die with less than two bombs, you will revive with two. That, okay, that was just like UFO. Okay, good, good. If a dialogue starts while you are in the spirit realm, your trance will end. If you enter trance manually, you will lose one level of the spirit gauge. What if I didn't enter it manually? I just die? A boss appears! And then I just- and then- and then my- I- and then I just instantly die. That- that's kind of funny. You can now play practice mode on a stage once you've reached that stage rather than once you've clicked- Oh! Okay, so I actually don't need the practice patch. Thank you, Zune. This is what I've been begging for. Oh, man! Dude, this game is so nice. You can play any spell card you've seen at least once in practice mode. Wait, really? <gasps> Do you have spell practice? Oh! Oh! They have spell practice! Yo! Oh my god! Yo! Let's go! Holy shit! Okay, this is this might be this might be one of my favorite one of my favorite 
Toe games. It's already looking like it's gonna be as good as Imperishable Night. I don't care how ass I think the the mechanics might be, but it just redeemed itself just by having a spell practice mode. Holy shit. By the way, each spell card is an overdrive mode. To unlock it, capture the spell card in every difficulty. Either it's- what? Overdrive mode is more difficult than Lunatic. Expect to die frequently. Okay, so it's like the- it's like the last words. Um, that you have to unlock in Imperishable Night. Is that everything? Alright, that seems like- alright, that was a lot. I don't know how much of that I retained, other than we have spell practice. So... <laughs> oh man, dude! I- dude, I've just been listening to this- th this track, dude! This track is bumping, man! Wait, I gotta read this, too. Prayer for health and long life. Easy mode. Hard to die for those who want to live a long time. <laughs> Play prayer for IT data security? What the heck? Asking the gods for help is pointless. Don't play this. <laughs> Let's just get us get 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 started. All right, what who, who who are the characters? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh no, we have four characters this time around. Do they all have different shots? Or is it is it one shot per character? Who do I want to use? I want to use Yomu. I love Yomu. I haven't seen Yomu in a long time. Yeah, the thing about Linux is it's kind of a it's kind of a coin toss. Depends on what distro you have. Depends on like a lot of factors whether things just work or not. So if 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 it works, she doesn't shoot when she's. She has a melee attack. What the hell? Wait a minute. Okay, maybe choosing Yomu was was a bad idea. I don't know if I like this. How am I gonna micro if I can't do damage from a far, far away? I love you, Yomu, but I don't know about this shot type. It's, I mean, I'm, I, I can, maybe it's good. I don't know, but I, I think, I, I think I need a little bit more knowledge about the stages and the bosses before I start using you. <laughs> hmm. It would seem the spirits are all headed in the direction of the village. Yomu is the hardest to use, but the strongest. You're using Mint 21.2. I'm using Mint 20. Alright, I'm using Una. So, this is a really outdated version of Mint. I've, I haven't upgraded it um, yet. Lady Yuyuko! Oh shit, oh yeah, that's right, Yuyuko's here. I forgot about that. Wait, I have to fight Yuyuko as Yomu? Why? What sort of half-asleep nonsense are you spouting? <laughs> Hasn't this become a serious matter? What do you mean? Either way- Oh yeah, the netherworld is- is Haku Gyokuro, isn't it? It's not hell. Okay, now I'm getting- yeah, cause there's so many hell-like places. It's so hard to keep up with them all. If you say you're going to leave, you have to defeat me first. How irrational, okay. I mean, at some point I'm gonna have to use Yomu, because I'm doing all shot types, but man, I don't know if this is it, man. I don't think I want to be using Yomu first. You know what I mean? This seems like it's gonna take some time to... Like, I have to know what I'm doing in order to use her effectively. Which, obviously, since this is my first time, I'm not gonna know how to do. I can't believe Yuko got demoted to stage one boss. That's so funny.
Not bad at all, you can go ahead. Well, okay, maybe that's why- maybe Yuko's taking it easy on Yomu, because it, Yomu just wants to leave. <laughs> Is something on your mind? What do you think of these divine spirits, Lady Yuko? Well, I wager some troublesome individual will make a return. I doubt there's any secrets or anything in, say, the graveyard behind the temple. Hmm? Anyway, I'll be off. Bring me back a souvenir! Wait, but then I don't know what Yuko's excuse would be to go easy on the, the uh, uh, Reimu, Marissa, and especially Sanai. I wonder what, what that encounter's gonna be like. Yuko isn't actually involved in the incident this time, after all. I see. Hi, Anna! It's always nice to see a new person in the gameplay community. Yeah! This is my first time playing this game. I'm regretting choosing Yobu. I wish I chose a different shot type. I'll probably end up choosing a different one. <laughs> what the heck? This is some weird music. I also feel like I've heard this this uh, this theme before somewhere. Yeah, where are we going? Oh my god. By the way, this is my first run ever, Anna. So, uh... I know nothing. <laughs> well, I knew Yuka was the first boss. That, that was something I knew. So I guess it's- I don't know absolutely nothing, but... Oh! Kyoko! This is the game she appears in! She's only a stage 2 boss? Oh, I was kind of hoping she'd be a little bit more difficult. Okay. Well... So all of the, all, all of the, um, everything, oh my god, whoa, whoa, holy, oh god, okay, this must be the trans state, okay, trippy, alright, see this is why I don't want to use Yomu, because it's making me want to stay higher up on the screen than I want to be. Because I don't know where the enemies are going to spawn, so it's really dangerous for me to be up here. Oh my god, chat is going crazy. Anna fangirling over 10 Desires? Oh, you must be a big fan of 10 Desires then, I see. I- oh yeah, I already read the manual. <laughs> I- I freaked- you missed it! I freaked out when I learned that there was a spell practice here. They have spell practice?! Ah! Oh wait, I need to be reading this. That isn't a very satisfying explanation. That's dangerous! What is it, Kyoko? What are you doing swinging sharp objects on the pilgrimage path? Where are we? It's fine, isn't it? They're just yokai and fairies. The temple has a strict ban on killing. Zemu Todasha. I wasn't trying to kill anyone. Anybody swinging around sharp objects and taking innocent lives in the temple is to die here. Oh, okay. That was a very short-lived conversation. Oh. There's an audio cue! I'm just now realizing that. There's an audio cue for her sword slash. Okay, let me just observe this for a minute. Okay. Oh gosh, so it's gonna get denser and denser over time. I think that's the idea. You know, what if I just sit back here? Okay, cool. 
I hate that those don't auto collect. That really sucks. Oh god! Okay, Kyoko. That was uh that was kinda sneaky. Okay. Okay. I see. I mean, I understand how to use Yama. I, I see what, what you have to do. It's just that using this effectively, goddamn, dude. Her sword does a lot of damage, though, it seems. You yokai are as energetic as ever. So would you happen to know anything about the Divine Spirits? What's a Divine Spirit? Does it taste good? <laughs> why don't you- why don't you lick Yomu's other half and, and find out? <laughs> right then. Gathering Divine Spirits for benefit sounds like a shrine to me. Can't help but feel this is the work of a yokai. I have forgotten what- what is happening in the story of this game. But even if these formless spirits are completed, they'll just vanish right away. This looks like more than just simple greediness at this point. I feel like this makes sense for Yo Yomu to be investigating this rather than the others. You know? This is Mjorin? This is Mjorin? We're at Mjorin? It already got built? That was fast? Holy crap! Unfocused is just like an IN. It can be better than using slashes. The slashes seem like they do a hell of a ton of damage, though. It's so hard to dodge with unfocused, though. This is bringing me back to Imperishable Night, though. Where it's like, I I hate dodging unfocused, but, like, even so, I still had a lot of fun with Imperishable Night. That's loot! Are you talking about when I told, when I told Kyoko to lick Yomu's other half? <laughs> Yomu's half phantom, not divine spirit. Oh, I got that wrong. Okay, never mind. This is Muran Temple of Stage 3's at Muran Temple Graveyard. I can't believe it's already built. That's crazy. Wow, you guys have a lot to explain about Tower uh, about Ten Desires. This is just lore, which is useless. Lore is not useless. Lore is beautiful. Since I died on Stage 2, that basically guarantees that I'm not going to uh, 1cc this. Holy crap. Oh, we're in swing now. Interesting, uh... Interesting music style for this. At least, at least, you know what? At least Yomu doesn't move like Marissa does. I have to, I have to, at least, at least, so there's at least that. How am I gonna grab those? Am I not at full power? How am I not at full power yet? I'm still getting power drops. Kogasa? You're still here? Someone swinging swords around. Anybody will do. There's this girl I've never seen before keeping what- You know what, Kogasa? You've made a good choice. If you're gonna scare anybody, Yomu's the girl. <laughs> no matter how much I shoot her, I always lose by timeout. Could you please do something about her, please? Oh, I accidentally skipped it. Oh, wow. Sure, you're a stage 3 boss this time around, so you should be more difficult this time. What do you got for me this time, Kogasa? Oh. Okay. Goodbye, Kogasa. Looks like you're you're still a weakling. Wow, she couldn't even get Yomu. If you couldn't scare Yomu, yeah, I I, I don't know. Uh, skill issue.
Dude, I hate this. I hate how everything is at the top of the screen and it doesn't fall towards you. I was hoping that 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 they would just fall, but they don't. They just stay at the top of the screen. So all of my life pieces and bomb pieces are probably hanging out here at the top. And I'm probably missing all of them because the enemies won't let me get them. My god, dude. This is ridiculous, man. I'll be surprised if I even make it to stage 5 at this rate. She hangs out there trying to find people to scare, not very successfully. She has a house somewhere. She can't even scare you, but that's what I'm saying! No, the life pieces! <laughs> Pretty good for a first try? Really? I don't think it's, it's good. Oh, it's you. Yoshka. Mm. Are you already dead? Maybe you're decaying. We're Je Jiang Shi, born to protect this magnificent mausoleum. Uh? Jaya Jiang Shi, I guess. Right, so knowing that, you should leave, or else become one of our companions. Uh, I, I want to know now do you have a hitbox during text? No. Good to know. Mm. Companions, sorry to say, but I'm actually rather like that already. But to still be loitering around this world because of a few lingering attachments, I feel sorry for you. Something feels off. We aren't stuck in this world because we have attachments. It is all so that a person shall not be trampled upon by the in temple inhabitants again. Okay. Wait a minute. Are they healing her? Wait. No. Oh god. Oh god. This this mechanic just became I fear I fear for the worst. I this mechanic just became a little bit more of a nightmare than I originally thought. Wait, hold on. I I don't feel so good. Uh, uh. Am I gonna end up timing out this spell? What the heck? I failed to capture that that spell. I timed ended up timing it out though, so I mean they can't last forever. Oh gosh. Okay. What the hell? What did it- Oh! My god. What is this, dude? Oh my god, <laughs> bro. Dude. Dude. What the hell?
Yes, yes, we get it, you're dying. A young she what okay, at least she's only a stage three boss. Okay, if I'm going for the one CC, I feel like I can just ignore her. I feel like I can just go for a timeout instead of actually trying to capture these spells. Holy crap. That's that's really Okay, at least it's uh at, at least it's optional. <laughs> At least I- at least it's optional. <laughs> um, yeah, so how about we just time it out, eh? Let, uh, let's just- let, let's just, uh... That doesn't seem like a difficult spell to time out. Although if I want to capture it in spell practice, my, my. You've always just timed out your last card, yeah. Man. Imagine going for a score run of this game. You'll lose your mind going for that card. What does it look like on Lunatic? Holy shit. Does that mean there'll be one of those dreadful religious wars again? Uh, who was that? Yomu probably has the damage to sniper down with the unfocused shot. Maybe, I don't know. That was an interesting fight. I've never, I never, I never, th I never thought that there'd be a boss in a tell game with uh, healing mechanics. That was really interesting. I'm glad those spells don't last ridic a ridiculous amount of time, and that you can just time them out. Because otherwise, I don't know. Oh, God. What's this? Curvy lasers, are we back? Show 2.0? Okay. What do we got here? Oh my god. Four of them! Please end. Okay. Holy crap, dude. That was a little wild for my liking, honestly. Please no more of that. I don't know what I would have done if she would have sent a fifth one after me. That was stupid. Okay. My supernatural radar is getting a signal. This grave here. Welcome. Ah, you're... We just met back there, right? Who are you? I'm Seija Kaku. I'm currently living as a hermit. <laughs> a hermit? What does that even mean? A hermit is a hermit. Perpetually youth, a clear mind, a sturdy body. It seems you're the same sort of being. You've transcend- This is stage four, right? Right? This is- I'm trying to remember. Stage one was Yuko. Stage two was... Is this stage four? What stage are we on? Die, you say? Dying's no good. Anything but that. Oh my, you're back quick. My oh my, you resurrected quickly. What's that? You've got a grudge with this person in front of us? So, will it be another round with this girl who's absorbed all the divine spirits gathered in the tomb? You're the thing's master. That saves me some time. My faithful servant. Go- oh no, wait. Is this gonna be like a double team? 
Oh god, what is this? I've heard of, uh, of, um, Junko and Hakesha teaming up together, but this is... What is this? Get to Seija. Give me the life piece. And the bomb piece. Maybe I can't. Oh gosh. It's. Ah! Oh my gosh, dude. Kind of works. What is it? What? Okay. That worked kind of weird. Trans is a oh god! All right, that's um um um. It is show 2.0. It's show 2.0. Holy crap! That was my first time actually using the trans thing. Holy crap, dude! Oh god! Oh gosh! Woo! It doesn't seem to do any more damage than, like, a regular bomb does. What the- oh, I have to- I have to redirect it, uh, Yeah, that's the- that's the key. I don't have any bombs. Holy crap, dude. That was an abysmal fight. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh! My, my, how splendid. Dude, I need a break, dude. That was... What was that? Was that stage four? It's already getting crazy. Oh. Transing on first playthrough is unheard of? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, I was it was there, so why not? Like, I I don't know. I wanted to compare it to the bomb because I because I had already used one, so I was like, well, let's let's see what it does compared to the bomb. It it seemed they I don't know which one is better, bombing or transing. It's they they both seem about the same, except you only get one trans. Ugh. Manual trans, you're blowing my mind right now. You transed? Yomu's very good in this fight. Well, I, 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 it's hard to tell. I felt like I, I completely ate ass that fight, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe Yomu helped. I don't know. Trans does a ton of damage and makes you invincible and doubles resource intake. Really? Life and bomb spirit intake, at least. It also gives you 10 times the point to item value. Well, points don't matter. Four, yes. Welcome to stage five. Oh, boy. You normally don't use trans as a bomb substitute. Use it for a resource intake. Oh! Wait, so you need to know where the resources are then. But you can use it as a bomb substitute. It's not a bad use of it. Worth eight bo bomb spares. Yeah, because I remember last time when I, uh, when I died and the trans activated, I, like, I just went, like, Yomu just went beast mode and started slashing everything. And so I was like, well, let me, I wanted, I wanted to compare it to her bomb. So that's, that's why I used it there. <clears throat> A trans can clear multiple attacks on like bombs, which can be nice. Yeah. Worth eight bomb spirits in a way. What? It's cause I'm strong. I have something to ask you. These divine spirits gathering here. Don't worry. It's okay. It's almost time for the preparations to end. Yeah, so I made it to stage 5, which this is usually where all of my first runs end. It usually, they usually end on stage 5. 
So this is pretty good. And I'll actually get to unlock it too. If you leave them be, they'll disappear soon. They won't hurt anything. That person will be revived very soon. Compared to that infidel prophet who resurrected three days after the execution. You need eight bombs- EIGHT?! Oh my god! This game starves you of resources! Holy shit! TEN?! There's- you need ten life pieces for a life?! But they count double under trans. Oh my god. This game- this game starves you of lives, not bombs. Well... Okay, so I need to route bombs then. Route bombs, don't worry about lives. Kind of like UFO, to be honest. And then just be really diligent with your bomb usage. Holy moly, dude. Bruh, the Omu, I'm telling you, if you don't, if you don't actually use your sword, I'm, I'm gonna be mad. Oh! And that's how you- that's how you- using trance is probably how you're intended to grab all these. All- all those resources at the top of the screen that ordinarily I wouldn't be able to- to get. Because they're at the top of the screen and it's too dangerous to go up there. So you use trance mode to get them. So like, like here? Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I need to have three in order to use it. That's right. Oh my god. Okay, you're easy because I can misdirect everything. What is this? Oh my god, that's so funky. I don't like this. Yomu, end this for me, please. Give me that. Oh my gosh. I did get an extra life. Ow? I don't know what hit me. There was nothing there. That was very weird. One of those spirits must have spawned on top of me, which is really unfortunate. That's the only explanation for that. The one piece you're missing is how to generate and collect more spirits to fill the trans gauge. Well, that'll probably come as I practice the stages. I don't know. 1-0, come on. Could make it to stage 6. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You have to work on your resource collection as a result of boss fights, though. Dumb and tired. Everyone always gets uh, spawn killed in this bit. Ah, uh, yeah. The part where I got spawn killed? That's probably... Yeah. <clears throat> You are inhuman, it would seem. Ah, how'd you know? Yomu's only half-human. Your body is covered with the stench of death. Yes, for I am no longer among the living. We are the same, are we not? Fudo as a wimp? Kick her tushy? Okay, if you say she's a wimp, then I guess I have to kick her tushy, you know? I see. Then I have misjudged you. My apologies. If I if I don't win this fight, it's your fault, Glimmer. <clears throat> you're a she Kaisen? Then you're in league with that wicked hermit from just now. And what the hell? Oh my god! Oh, I like this beat. What the hell? Zune was really working it in the studio this time. <laughs> Ah, oh, pity, I thought you were a kindred soul. 
Try with all your might and return this fusion of the secret art of Monobe and away of the tower to the grave as my tech spot goes off the screen. Kind of dense, huh? Also, Yomu doesn't shoot when you're not when you're not you when you're not focused. So this is really hard. No, well, there it is. I didn't even see what killed me. There was an invisible bullet on the screen. All right. Ah. Okay. No, don't. I want to put my name. That was pretty good. Like I said, most of the time, uh, I do end up making it to stage 5 and that's it. So that's pretty average. I usually don't even make it to the boss. So that was actually really good. Kaneko's theme in the background. How do continues work in this game? What? You continue right from where you left off? Oh, it's like kind of like EOSD. EOSD continue system. Oh, maybe we can actually get to see the the uh, stage six then. This reminds me of one of... What killed me? Hello? Another invisible bullet? What's going on here? Some weird things happening in this fight. That's all I can say. But we'll learn it, especially since there's spell practice. It's just probably something I'm not seeing in that spell. Maybe something spawning on top of me or whatever. What is this? I'm going to end up timing this out instead of capturing it. That's unfortunate. I'm just not doing enough damage. Dang. Man, it's really hard to do damage during that. That's hard. <sighs> I'm an ordinary being. To defeat me with such ease, you must truly be a hermit of great fame. I'm telling you I'm not a hermit. You need not pretend humility to me. Did you not come to bless the crown prince's resurrection as well? Maybe it's better if I play along at this point. That's right, I've come to deliver a blessing. Of course, I understand. A blessing from one as powerful as you would be an event worthy of celebration. Please, this way. Oh my gosh. So now we're gonna get to see what- what was that bass noise? Now, now we'll now we'll see what uh, stage six is gonna be like. You like the stage theme? Oh, I hope so. Nitori, Midcard, and Shizu are the only ones that come to mind. Blah, blah, blah. What are you guys talking about? Hello? Did you notice the game docks you exactly as much power for dying as UFO did? No, I didn't notice. But thanks for pointing it out. So yeah, 
Dying makes you lose power. Good, good, good to know. Oh my god, I'm getting Shin Megami Tensei vibes from from this this uh this uh theme. Dude, the music in this game is very unique. It's it's unlike a lot of the Toa music I've heard in the other Toa games. I think this game has a pretty... Zune always makes good OSDs. So that, I mean, it's to be expected, but I like how different the soundtrack is this time around. It's got a different feel to it, you know? Good to know that that Zune can actually uh, make a, uh, you know, can actually branch out with his music. He's so talented. That's pro that was probably a moment where I could have used trans instead of a bomb, but I'm just used to using bombs, so I didn't think about it. I fooled that person back there to get in by saying I was a hermit. Still, this is a uh, first. The use trans. You're a little slow, Glimmer. You should have you, you should have said that like a minute earlier. These divine spirits. No, they just transformed incarnation of desires. It seems. Vulgar spirits, the lowest grade of ghost among the vengeful spirits. Any person who could stand- you know what? The, because trans is ki almost like a bomb, they probably should have put the transmitter next to your, your bombs. I feel like that would have been a better place for it. <coughs> but I can understand why Zoot would put it at the bottom left corner of the screen, just like most gimmicks. Desires at my side in every single era. Okay, so you're the final boss of this game. I didn't know who the final boss of 10 Desires was. I was wondering who who it would be. You lack two desires. From among the 10 that I expected, your attachment to life and your envy of death are... Sorry, but I'm afraid that I'm already half dead, so... Is that right? Then you and I are comrades, are we not? So tell me about- uh, tell me about, uh, about her. She has two left hands. W what's her deal? She has two left hands, is that it? Those who walk a path with eternal life as its endpoint? No. Perhaps you are already a hermit or a shikaisen. No, no, no. I just denied being a hermit a second ago. Then there's no need to hide it. I see and understand all. All that can be understood from seeing human desire. What is her power? What's her ability? Your favorite part of, of Ten Desires? Really? She is a Taoist monk? I have no- I, I know nothing about Taoism. Just a mistake Zune made drawing her- oh. Pff. The two left hands? Wow. I'm telling you, that's not it. As a comrade, you understand what will happen next, don't you? No, I don't! Two beings revived to eternal life must join together in combat and join together in study of the Tao. She has extremely good ears. She uses headphones to not go insane. I see. Miku is a figure from Japanese history known as the Prince of Shotoku. She underwent some sort of ritual to cheat death, I see. And be resurrected as a statesman of eternal life. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna beat you. And since beating you would o OH MY GOD! I got really lucky there. I did not know those things were going to explode. Holy crap. That was luck. So far, she's, um, a lot easier than other, other bosses that I've faced. 
but Biakra and Ars also kind of started off easy, to be fair. And I noticed she has five extends, so it's by no means over. And it looks like this is kind of the pattern that I can expect from her non. Looks like I didn't have any bombs that time around. Had I known I didn't have any bombs, I would have manually used trans, but I was expecting to have at least one more bomb. What? What is this? It's nice, actually. I actually get to see the entire- oh my god. This is really dense. Holy shit. Oh, thank god they don't have the Sakia knife hitboxes, dude. Otherwise, I would be going insane. Holy crap. And I'm- I can't- okay. Oh my god. I'm glad that's over. What is this? What is that? What is this? Oh my god, it's like a disco party, dude. Okay, that's the end of my life. That was a good run. Well. Oh. <laughs> Whoo. Okay. Do I get another, uh, another, another? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I actually get to see the rest of this fight. Oh. She didn't let me use a bomb. Cool. What? Dude. Okay, I was complaining about knife hitboxes. I should now now I have to complain about glowy orb hitboxes. Cuz these these do not ha these hitboxes are a lot bigger than they would seem. Like much bigger than they look. Ow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, you can't even bomb them because it's like, you wouldn't expect to get hit by them because they're so humongous. Those are some gigantic hitboxes, holy crap. Like, I'm used to everything being, like, ten times smaller than the, uh, than the actual, than the actual thing. Can I get a trans here? No, I can't. I don't think I have enough. Interesting fight. Again, I don't know. I feel like Yomu was the wrong pick. I feel I feel like the I feel like Yomu was the wrong pick for this. It's GG. 
Wow, she melted the rage phase. What? There was a rage phase? <laughs> Four CC, not bad for first try. Yeah, it would have been a three. I would have gotten it with three continues if um if if her ball if I realized her balls didn't have those giant hitboxes. Shoot for a no continue clear. Alright. Well, that was interesting. Wait, you can't take- you can't save a replay unless you, uh, unless you actually get a 1cc, hey? Okay. Interesting. Alright, so... Probably, like, definitely spell practice would be, um... Oh, I can only practice with Yamu. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, you know what? We'll- you know what? I've, I'm dedicated. We're just gonna learn with Yomu. Why not? We're we're just gonna use Yomu as the first shot type. She was who I picked first. Fuck it. This game actually doesn't seem like it's hard enough for me to worry about what shot type I use first. Mm. Like it's nothing com like compared to subterranean animism and UFO. This feels like. Th this this feels like um it's it's gonna be a much easier one you're doing yomu yeah yomu i i really like yomu i it's it, so it's like not not just in, like in general i really like yomu i wish she was in more games <laughs> just harder to learn yeah and i mean like if i'm going i mean as a first shot type i'm going to be spending a lot of time practicing anyway so i mean why not use the character that I love? <laughs> that was fun! I like a lot of the music in this game. The characters, I don't know. I'm not so crazy about the characters. Cause there were a lot of repeats this time around. So there was there was Yuyuko and there was Kogasa. So there were two repeats. Like the gameplay seems fun, the music is fun. Um the it's 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 just I don't know how I feel about this these characters. Maybe they'll grow on me as as time goes on because I remember not liking Morasa very much at first. So yeah, this um this was this was fun. I I I will I I'm already liking it more than I than UFO. Like <laughs> just just saying. <laughs> Although UFO had um I, 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 UFO had some characters I cared about, so like, I loved Sanai, but Sanai's in this game too. So like, I don't know. UFO had Byakuren, Byakuren's a, uh, a gem. UFO had, obviously, introduced Kogasa. This game has Kyoko! I was excited to see Kyoko! That was cool. I'm sad to see that Kyoko's only a stage 2 boss. Cause I remember, I remember seeing people playing, fight, playing, uh, against Kyoko. I saw one person doing one spell card of Kyoko, and it looked super dense. It was a long time ago. They must have been playing on Lunatic. Or maybe the, oh, it was an Overdrive spell. Cause now that I know that, that's a thing. But, but, uh, I didn't know she was in this game. But I, I, I looked like she had, like, really dense patterns, but I guess they were playing on a higher difficulty. Lunatic Kyoko is quite mean. I see. I see. I am quite curious, like, how much fun do people have with the overdrive spells in this game? If it's harder than Lunatic. Obviously, it must be... Luna, they Zoom must be able to amp up the difficulty to insane sane points to where it's like like just barely possible <laughs> since you're not having to do an entire run with them right so you're only looking for a capture unfortunately i'm probably not going to be able to get to them since you know depending on shot type obviously dude wait a minute hold on i know what i i, I, I want to see i want to there's one i want to see and you can- oh, you can do spell practice with any character. That's right, it did mention this. Spell card one, two... Okay. It was her last spell. I want to see if I can capture it. Ow. My god! She- she has a big hitbox. She's really fat. Hey! 
That is really dangerous. <laughs> Poor zombie, don't call her fat. Dude, like, I clipped her head and she hit me. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, is her entire model a hitbox? This seems like a fun game. I, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to be doing it. It, it feels easier and it feels like a breath of fresh air. So here's the plan. The plan is simple. We beat this on our first try. And then, after we beat this on our first try, we are going to play Super Mario Odyssey. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. All right? It's that simple. It is that simple. Are you ready? Holy crap, I already have five viewers. Will we get nipple percent on Mario? It depends on if I if I actually manage to... <laughs> it depends on if I actually manage to beat this on my first try. <laughs> All right, thank you for being here. Let's get started. Are you ready? Yes, it is synced. I just checked. I used my own two eyes to hear it. I used my own two ears to hear it. I know what I'm saying. Let's go. Mm. So today, my, my cat actually came to wake me up this morning. <clears throat> Which he usually does. But today he decided to do it in the most annoying way possible. By literally laying across my face. If you guys have cats, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like... <laughs> oh shit! Holy crap! Ah! Maybe I shouldn't talk about my cat while playing Toho. <laughs> oh, but... <laughs> to... My cat uh, woke me up by laying on top of my on top of my face. Cat and fat, fat and cat. What? <laughs> Anyone with a cat? I th you have a cat too, don't you, Fanny Toho? Yeah. So yeah, my cat just likes to like. So he doesn't always wake me up sometimes, but today he was really bothering me because he wanted to. I guess he really wanted to go outside. You have you have seven cats. You are crazy. One cat is enough for me. Dude. Dude. Where do you keep- do, Are they outdoor cats or indoor cats? And one of them lives in your room? Oh my gosh, dude. That's insane. I could never have seven cats. I- One of my exes used to have, like, so many pets. And I am- I love having pets, but I think I'm very much like a- Like a one pet person. I want to have, like, one- One cat- I think I could maybe do one dog, but I'm not really much of a dog person. I prefer cats. So, the lard of obesity, they're indoor. All of them are indoor, so you have seven cats in your house. The cats are your mom's. Okay. All right. Yeah, I I could I I couldn't have that many pets. That that's that's too much, dude. <laughs> one is enough. One is enough for me. One of these days I'm gonna put an input viewer. I think putting an input viewer would be kind of fun to have for my- for these Toho games. Oh, I was saying earlier that I have- I used to- I had an- I- one of my ex-girlfriends had, um, had like- had- She had like six cats and like five dogs. Of course, they weren't all hers. They, uh, she- uh, it was her family's, right? So it was- it was- but like- I can't imagine, first of all, the cost of keeping all those pets, and then on top of that, just, like, just how much responsibility it must be to, to, to do that. Of course, she had a very big family. It was, she didn't live by herself, right? So she had, like, I think, I, th I think six or seven siblings? She lived in a big family, so. But even so, like that's it's it, it it was crazy. Like I every time I went in the house, like it was just it was like a zoo. 
Well, maybe zoo isn't the isn't isn't the best way to describe it. I think this is where I use the trans mode, right? I'm pretty sure this is where I where I I uh, planned it. Hi, Kyoko. How you doing? You scare me, so I don't want to get too close to you, but... Okay. Oh, okay, okay. This is safe. But yeah, I was basically raised as an only child. So, maybe that's why I don't want to have, like, so many pets. Because <laughs> I, because I would have to be the one to take care of them all. If I was, if I, if I had all those pets. Okay, not that freaking much. They'd be bowling balls if they ate that much. Oh, you mean when I was saying that that you'd need to have like two of those bags every week? Okay, maybe I exaggerated a little bit, but I mean, let, you know, that's that's how much food that I remember, like, you know, <laughs> my ex having to get. Cause like I said, like they just had so many pets, dude. That's my experience with it. You are an only child? A sin according to people with siblings, apparently? Yeah, I have siblings, but they, uh, they they were spaced so far apart. Like, well, I don't have any, like, full siblings. I have half-siblings. So, like, I have a half-brother. You take care of the seven cats alone? Oh my god. Oh, that's right. You just said that you're an only child and you're the one with the seven cats. What is- what the hell, dude? Got they, got they. What what does gate mean? No! Oh! I hate that I had to use a bomb on stage two, but you left me no choice, Kyoko. What? What did I die to? Hello? Oh, the invisible bullets come to strike again! I hate it! Oh my lord. The bullet rebound? There was no bullet rebounding, dude. <laughs> there there was no bullet coming back from got back from anywhere. And I don't have trans. Oh, so that means I actually Oh, it's even worse than I imagined. I didn't just lose one life, I actually lost three. Because I missed- uh, because I don't get trans mode here. Oh my god. Dying is so brutal in this game. I mean, I probably could just reset, but yeah, right there. Right there what I would- where I would normally get my, uh, my ex- my, uh, two extra lives. Now I'm- now I'm left with only, uh, one extend. By now I should have four lives. What did I hit- oh, again! Getting hit by invisible bullets! Let's try that again. Actually, no, I need a- I need- I should- I should do a warm-up. I think I need a micro dodging warm up. So, what would be a good spell to practice micro dodging? Defiance? Miko second? Second to last? Okay, so the penultimate spell? Or defiance? Okay, what's this one? Oh, it's this one. Wild. Alright, cool. I should be fine. Let's go. So how's everybody been? 
I just realized, this stage doesn't have a mid-boss. There's no mid-boss in this stage. Oh, speaking of pets, because I know we were talking about that earlier. Um, you know how most cats don't like water? My cat actually doesn't mind water. And like, so sometimes I'll take a bath or I will be in the shower. And uh, my cat doesn't like the sound of the faucet. So like, it, I guess it's noisy, so he doesn't like that. But if I'm in the bath, or even, so, I mean, sometimes when I take a shower, he'll he'll go in the bathroom and he'll like look at me, but he'll never jump in when I'm taking a shower. Only when I'm taking a bath is when it, sometimes my cat will jump in, and it's super annoying. <laughs> Especially if I have bubbles in the bath, it's it's like one of the it, it's it's kind of cute, but also like like I wish he would not. Uh, do you have, since you have seven or ten cats, fam, fami Toho, do you have any cats that actually like water? That, that is, that is absolutely atrocious, Yuko. How dare you have an extra attack and you don't tell me about it? How dare you? You wouldn't know you don't dunk them in water? <laughs> Well, you don't have to dunk them in water. How do they react when, like, when, um... How do they react when it's raining? Or I guess n your cats are exclusively indoor, right? That's You said that already? So I guess, I guess you don't let your cats outside. I'm questioning if that was the best place to use it. I wonder if I should actually use it on the next area. Yeah, like here. Well, it's always, it's always bombs, so it's never lives. So I guess it doesn't matter. I can use it wherever. What happened to my bomb? Excuse me, I'm not taking- I'm not taking the slander, alright? When I use a bomb, I expect it to be used, <laughs> alright? Mm-hmm, yep. I like how that bullet appeared in the only place that it could kill me. The only place it could kill me, it had to be there. I don't think these games would be nearly as successful if it wasn't for the music. God, the music is so good. Please, can we just get past stage three? That's, you know, so that I can be done with collecting resources.
Alright. Easy stage one. There we go. Alright. This time we'll get more resources out of stage two as well. Because I'm actually going to use the transmitter early this time. There we are. That covers our resources. I wish trans mode was a little longer. They're probably, I, I'm willing to bet one of the abilities of one of these characters is going to be a uh, longer transmitter. That seems like the kind of thing they do. Gasp, I didn't know stage two was, uh, was two and 13 minutes long. <laughs> I didn't know stage two was 13 minutes long. Yeah, I know. Uh, we, uh, we kind of struggled a bit, but hopefully we won't struggle anymore. Welcome back, Fami Toho. Oh. You know... Despite all of the Toho playing I've done, we've made it from EOSD to Perfect Cherry Blossom to Imperishable Night. We made it through Phantasmagoria Flower View. We made it through Mountain of Faith. We made it through Subterranean Animism. We made it through UFO. And of all the tro- of all- out of throughout all these games, I'm still not good enough to dodge the rain outside my house. <laughs> oh, one day, one day, I'll be good enough to dodge the rain outside my house. Perfect. Okay, cool.
Perfection! Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna stay at the bottom. Hug the bottom of the screen. Because last time I got absolutely cucked. There we are! Finally! <laughs> Two extra no bomb, no misses, and almost one lunatic, no bomb, no miss, plus 20 normal, and 16 hard one CCs, and you still can't do it, when's it coming? <laughs> one day, one day, no, you have to be, you, you have to be a legendary Toho player. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> One day we'll be good enough to do it. Mm. Speaking of rain, I was having a chat in one of my Discord servers about rain. About clouds, specifically. Because I was, like, confused about, like... Okay, I'm about to sound, like, really smooth-brained, but I was, like, wondering, like, are clouds... Clouds are made of water, right? Cause like they that's where our rain the rain comes from. They are made from the precipitation coming from the oceans. Right? So the water comes up the, the water rains up from the o it doesn't rain up, it precipitates up from the oceans, and then it evaporates down it evaporates out of the oceans, and then it precipitates out from the clouds. That's how it works, right? So the so but my question was it's so hard to talk okay listen it's hard to talk while playing at the same time all right so my question is this right what are like is a cloud a ball of steam or like or or is it like suspended water particles if you know what i mean I, d I didn't get my trans mode, unfortunately. That really sucks. That's gonna throw my entire trans route into the into the freaking drain. My whole trans route is ruined now. God dang it, dude. But you know what I'm saying, right? Like, is it is the water in the clouds steam? Like, is it steam, or is it is it like an aerosol? Like, is it a mist? Is is it is it a steam or a mist? Like, like, cause a mist is like an aerosol, right? It's like, it's suspended water in its liquid form. Guess it's closer to suspended water droplets? That, that's what I was thinking, right? So that would mean that it's an aerosol, right? But then somebody in the server that I was in, they, they like super mega brained me, or not, what am I saying? They like, they were like really smart and they like super educated me and they were like actually it's not just it's not just suspended water particles it's also suspended ice particles so it's like so like it, it's water in both its liquid and solid form but never its gas form and yet it floats in the air so clouds are li are literally Floating liquids and solids. This seems like a good spot for it. I just got four life pieces. Right? That has to be good. Must be good. And then I can start working up for my next, uh, my next transmitter. What stage is this? Is this stage three? It was Kogasa, right? So it must be stage three, yeah. Oh no, Kogasa's stage two. Never mind. Oh my god, I'm 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 Dude, this is taking way too long. <sighs> Wait, no, I'm crazy! No, it's it's freaking and I like how we're talking about Kogasa. Like we're talking about rain and clouds, and Kogasa's literally umbrella. <laughs> Yeah. 
So, this is stage three, because Kogasa in this game is a stage three. But, um, Kogasa in UFO is stage two. That's, that's what it is. This is stage three. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Don't come to me closer! Ah! Yo, remember, so I saw you watching Fawful earlier today, right? And, uh, he, he, he was playing, like, 75 FPS on Lunatic. And so that got me thinking, right? You're playing EOSD, doing... You're still doing extra f runs, right? You're still doing the uh, No Miss, No Bombs. It got me thinking, if you wanted an extra challenge for for uh, EOSD, you wouldn't even have to crank it up to 75 FPS. You could just increase the rank, right? Because you can boost the rank higher than the vanilla allows, right? So, you, so couldn't you, like, play... Um, EOSD on, like, rank 50? Or, like, what's the max rank that EOSD usually allows? Play it on, like, some obscene rank. <laughs> I bet you that would make for interesting content. Or maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it would just be absolutely awful. <laughs> Me with my terrible ideas. <laughs> with double, d double the rank. Although for Flandre, it wouldn't change anything, right? Because you mentioned that it doesn't, it like almost doesn't change anything. So I guess it would only change the Lunatic 1cc. Yes, but 99 rank is often either impossible or literally broken where no bullets shoot. 95 rank is probably closer to that, you guess? Okay. So like, the highest rank where the bullets don't break, where the, where the spells don't break. That's- that's where- that's where you should take it. <laughs> I really want to see what- what the- what the patterns would look like under that. But then, like, again, like, for Flandre, like, you said- you mentioned that for Flandre, nothing changes. For most of the spells. So it would- yeah, it would only be for, like, a lunatic run. Ultra Flandre, maybe, please? <laughs> uh... Alright, let me pay attention to this real quick. I don't want to actually lose a run. This is actually a really good run. No, no joke. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh boy, which way are you going? Alright, I'm gonna go left. Alright, she went right. Of course. Of course she did. Nope, not today. I am I am focused today, Yoshka. I I got my 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 finger on the bomb button now. You I might have been a little slow on the uptake earlier, but no more. We are we are bombing now. And then watch me still lose. Because bombing makes no difference to my survival. Please, come to the right side. I dare you. I dare you to come to the right. Thank you. That's literally not worth the brain cells. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I don't wanna deal with that right now. Alright, we timed it out, but, you know, whatever. It's just safer to time that spell out than to actually get the- WHAT?! Did I capture it?! What the hell?! Oh my god! 
I just saw it on my on on my uh, phone. My phone has a bit of, is I'm watching the stream on my phone, so there's a bit of delay. And on my phone, I just saw it says spell capture. Holy crap! I can't believe it. You can collect the spirits Yoshika uses to heal herself. Yeah, but it's scary, so I don't do it. It's just better to time it out. <laughs> just not viable and hard and lunatic. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Score runners do it. Alright. <laughs> Ultra Flandra is mostly broken, sadly. Oh, Extra range rank is only 16 to 18. Main game lunatic is 16 to 32. You're friends with Fa. You moderate his team. Oh shit, yeah. I was mention- I was- what was I say? Oh yeah, I, I was talking about how it- I got so far off track. Yeah, he was playing 75 FPS. And that led me to the EOSD conversation with the rank. Dude, all the games should have rank. I'm gonna regret saying that. There's gonna be like an, a whole surge of people that will hate the fact that I just suggested that. <laughs> it is viable, but super risky. Yeah, it's- I just- I, I can't believe I captured it. I was not going for the capture there. Well, I kinda was. I was spamming the sword slashes, hoping it would do enough damage to get it. But I wasn't actually thinking was gonna do it. Like I thought, I really thought the timer ran out on that. Uh, no rank, yeah. So you you don't like the idea of rank? <laughs> mm -mm. All right, we're on stage four. I don't really remember what this stage is about, so hopefully I don't, you know, completely eat it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god, I forgot the music here is super good. Holy shit. Oh my god, the music is goaded. I'm so scared to go up to the top of the screen. It's not worth it. Maybe it is. Oh my god. I really wanted the extend. The bombs weren't worth it, but that, that life sure was. Holy shit. Ah! Sage, why you gotta do this to me, man? I hate you. I hate the frick out of you, dude. Oh, dude. I hate- I really hate you right now, Seija. I really do. You made me use a bomb. That's not cool. That is absolutely not cool. How dare you. That's too spooky. Yeah, that's why I said it was too spooky. Safe? Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Please tell me that was a good use of it. I hope they had lives. Oh. <sighs> USD is one of the least shitty implementations of rank you've seen. <laughs> really? It, 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 is it the last game to have a rank system? I think it is, yeah. Seija is a freako and kind of genuinely enjoys the idea that she bothers you. I know, right? Seiga, not Seija. Dude, leave me alone. It's the, it's, it's the same either way, right? Just think of Sega. Oh! <laughs> okay, so she's Sonic. All right, she's Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, that's her new name now. I hope you understand what you just did, Kevin. We're about to defeat Sonic the Hedgehog here. Let's go. 
Oh shit! We just got raided? Dude, I just started a fight! Yo! Yo, welcome! Um, I have to focus, but thank you for joining us! We're, um... This is gonna- this is my first time once he's seeing this game. Um... And we've got a really good run going. So hopefully this is the one. Wish me luck, guys. Thank you for the raid, man. Thank you. Okay, get get that, please. Get that, please. Okay. I actually think it's probably safer to do this. No? No. Okay. All right. I don't know if I have a bomb. I, I, it's too dangerous for me to look. So I'm just gonna bomb if I see I'm in danger, and if I don't, if nothing happens, then we'll know. Not yet. Not yet. Perfect. Okay. Alright. This is looking real good. This is looking real good. Oh, this was the spell I was thinking of. Ooh, okay. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay. Woo! Almost had a bomb there. Oh god! Okay. Alright. <sighs> We're using way too many bombs. Yo, Saris Capricus, thank you for the- wait. Yes, Saris Capricus, thank you for the raid, man. Thanks for the good luck, yes, dude! <laughs> Chinese Sonic, yes, Chinese Sonic. Play Yomu, nothing can go wrong. I think I may have made a mistake choosing Yomu as my first shot type for this, but... Hey, we're- we're doing it. We're doing it. Mmm. Yo, this is- thank you f thank you so much, man. I hope this is the one. I hope I don't fail just because you raided me. Alright. Let's get it then. This is gonna be the one, guys. I can feel it in my bones. Except for the fact that we just used, like, 17 bombs in that fight. <laughs> but, hopefully we can make it through. I'm thinking- I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking- I'm, I'm thinking we will be able to make it through. What do you guys think? Let's go. This is where the run gets real. If I miss bomb timings now, it's it, it can everything can end super fast. Everything can end so quickly. So I have to make sure that I don't, like, that nothing stupid happens. Okay. I'm gonna use a bomb to get that life piece. Just because I don't know- I can't remember if it's- if it's safe to get it. And this should give me enough trans to get the resources at the end of the stage, as well. So it's unfortunate I wasn't able to use trans there, but there's not much I can do. Oh, but I can use it here. Never mind. I don't have enough. Come on. Come on, Soga. Don't be a dick. And don't make me lose my trance. I can get so many resources if I, if I, if I, uh, if I don't, if I don't lose a life. I, oh, I don't have any bombs! Oh my god, this is, this just got really scary all of a sudden. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I have a bomb now. Oh, thank god. Holy crap. I was about to say. Holy. 
That could have been really bad. I'll need to use a uh, bomb here because I don't like the fact that they shoot me there. Okay, here we go. Give me, give it, give it, give, give, give me all the resources. All right. I think that was good. I think that was good. You can still get, I, you can still get one more extend. I just got it. Don't know about the 15 piece extend though. All right. Well, since you're not sure about it, I'm actually not sure about it. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to get the 15 piece extend either. So I think this, these are all the resources we're getting today. But this is enough. This should be enough. So no more resource gathering. That, that, that's it. We're done. All right. Ooh, my heart is pounding, dude. <laughs> I really want to do it right now. I really want to just, just be able to finish this run and, and be happy. But, oh, you know, the run is not over until it's over. Kevin, why are you doubting me? You're supposed to be on my side. Come on. Come on, man. That's not cool. <laughs> I can do this. Come on. Have faith in me. Have faith in your fellow streamer. <laughs> I won't be able to do it if you don't have faith. I'm like a I'm like Kaneko. I'm I'm like a I'm I'm like a Japanese god. Without faith, I have no power. So come on, cheer for me. I got this. Let's do it. All right. Don't kill me, please. Okay, thank you. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. We got this. I believe in myself. I'm- oh shit. Okay, cool. Alright. I don't like this. Woo! Okay. Here's this one. There's the yellow. Captured. Okay, nice. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I think this is going to be the one. I think this is going to be the one. Please don't have a stupid death. CC. 
I have a feeling. I I have a you know I have a slight feeling, just a slight feeling that I'm gonna get a one CC here. <laughs> Yo, let's go! This run is goaded, dude! Mmm. Holy crap. And, it, and I've only been streaming for an hour 20 minutes. So this is great! Yes! Boat capture. Yeah, that was crazy. I, I don't usually capture the boat. <laughs> oh, man. Alright! Whoo! I should probably let you guys know what my plans are, cause, cause yeah, you guys just raided me. Af after this one CC, I was planning on playing Super Mario Odyssey, which I also haven't beaten ever. So, oh, no miss stage five. Was that a no miss? Oh my god, I think you're right. I don't think I've ever had a no miss stage five before. Dude, that's so sick, dude. Oh man. Unfortunately, that's gonna make this this sixth stage a little uneventful. Like it's it's not gonna be quite as tense. But but hey, this was a great run. Holy crap, dude! But yeah, we're gonna be playing Super Mario Odyssey after this one CC. So also, I should mention this is not the only one CC I will be doing. If you want to see me do one CC with all shot types, which is my plan, this is the first shot type I'm doing for this game. Um, drop a follow, and I stream Toho, like, very often. So it's, 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 it's really, it's a vibe, dude. I don't, I'm going to be doing every single shot type on normal, on normal difficulty. Alright, wish me luck, guys. This is it. It all comes down to this. No funny business. No funny business. I don't remember this stage being hard, but I can't let my guard down. Not when we're this close. It's never too late. It's never too late to have a stupid death. And I am not about to let my guard down. I really just want this to be an easy, just an easy, relaxing Toho stream. Okay. There it is. Stage six. We're here. We got four lives. We got one bomb. Literally, like, pretty much best case scenario. <laughs> we got this, boys. We we got this. I didn't I didn't practice today, so like a lot of these nons and a lot of these spells are gonna be kinda like I don't know. But I have a lot of resources, so we should be good. We should be able to do this. All right. I believe in myself. Let's do this. We got this. Woo! <clears throat> What's everybody's favorite song in this game, by the way? If I, if I may ask. I'm trying to bring my heart rate down before I start this, uh, <laughs> before I start this fight. Because I really don't want there to be any stupid things happening. <laughs> In this, like, all the music here's been good, but I don't have any songs in here that I think I would call my favorite. Like, none of the songs really stick out to me. But it's all good. Extra boss theme? Oh, I don't even know who the extra boss is in this game. I know. Oh! I haven't. I, I can't. I need to see what the extra boss has in store. Okay, before we play Super Mario Odyssey, we're going to check out the extra stage. Because I want to see what that has in store for me. 
Stage 4 theme and boss are great. I'm trying to remember what stage 4 was. Stage 3 was Kogasa. Stage 4 was Seiga, the Sonic fan. So, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so, um... Okay. Really? Sega? I'll have to hear her theme again. Maybe I was- I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. But all the music here, I've- I've been genuinely enjoying it, but it's not been, like, it hasn't been, like, where I was like, Oh my god, I love this song so much, I'm gonna put it in my playlist. Like, none of the songs were, like, like that for me here, I don't think. Unless I'm forgetting one. Like, Imperishable Night had so many of those. Same for Subterranean Animism. The music is just fine. That's what I'm feeling like. It's good. It's like on par with like Perfect Cherry Blossom and... What's another game? On par with Perfect Cherry Blossom and Mountain of Faith, I think. So... <clears throat> EOSD had a lot of good bangers, too. So, there, there was that as well. But yeah. Oh, oh I remember also seeing, um... Uh, Fami Team Toho. He played, uh... He played Shoot the Bullet. I think that was yesterday? Was it yesterday? I wanna... I wanna play that game. It won't be today. I should... Oh, 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 it's starting. It's starting. It's starting. Shut up, guys. All right, it's time. Here we go. All right. If I lose, we're playing Shoot the Bullet now. This will likely be a bomb. Yeah, like I said, likely be a bomb. I was really spoopy. Oh my god, I want that bomb piece. I didn't get it. Oh, that would have been a nice bomb piece. And two of them would have gotten me a, a bomb, too. I'm really close to another one. So I really should have I really wish I got that. That's that's unfortunate. And I'm also out of bombs. I tried to bomb already and I found out that I didn't have any. This is a this is a spell that I would really rather bomb just because the hitboxes on these balls are so big. You got really big balls, Miko. You know that? All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know how I'm not dead yet. I really don't. This is insane. Like, I, I am not good at micro dodging at all. Wait, I had a transmitter! I had trans! Why did none of you remind me? You guys suck! Oh my god. The whole time I had trans and nobody told me. Nobody thought thought it important to mention that I had a trans the entire time. I didn't have to die there. Whatever. That was only one life. It was only one life. Oh god. Oh god. At least they're not the Sakia knives. Okay. Let's go. 
Let's go. What you got? Oh, Eternal Meek. Let's go. Let's go. Eternal Meek. All right. Let's go. I got this. Should not have to use a bomb here. This is free. Oh! Okay. Well. All right. You got me. You, you got me fair and square. All right. And this is also just going to be a bomb as well. There's no reason to even even entertain this. This is going to be a bomb right here. Maybe not quite yet, but it's coming. The bomb is coming. Because I can't do this spell at all. There it is. All right, this is it. This is our final spell. This is it. This is it. All right. This is that moment where I go up her skirt. <laughs> Yomu the pervert going up Miko's skirt. Ow. Okay. It's uh, it's over though. She she's literally dead. It that's done. <laughs> There you have it, guys. The 1cc. Holy crap. GG, yes. <laughs> now that I did that, yeah, dude, okay. First impressions. First of all, way easier than UFO. Way easier than UFO. Holy crap. I was molding when I was trying to beat UFO with Marissa B. You have no idea, Sarah's Capricus. I was I was not having a good time. I think that VOD is still up. It was an it was an awful experience. Dude, I think I let out one of the one of the loudest blood curdling screams of my life when I finally got the 1cc. I think that was the one where I let out a scream. I think it is. If 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 uh if the VOD's not still up, then there's there's uh there's a clip of me screaming my head off after getting the Marissa B UFO 1cc. It was ridiculous, dude. It took me so long. So this is like a breath of fresh air. UFO is a mean game after all. I know, dude, UFO is just, oh, dude. Most of my viewers watch me and uh, to, to laugh at my, at my demise. <laughs> I know that's what Glimmer is here for. <laughs> Fami Toho is a little bit more supportive than that. Kevin, Kevin's here to, 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 to hear me scream. Yo, this, so like, there was no, oh, there was no screaming today. Sorry to disappoint you, Kevin, but that was kind of anticlimactic. I mean, I finished it with two lives remaining. I had so many resources to spare. <laughs> I was a bit overprepared, but hey, listen, I, I like to be comfortable. I like to be comfortable, and I imagine one of these shot types is going to be bad, so like, whatever. You've been playing for 11, but you've known Toho for way longer than that, please? Why do you keep saying please, Fami Toho? Hello? <laughs> You're like Izuna from, uh, from No Game No Life. Always adding, always tacking on please to the end of every single sentence. <laughs> it's like, it's like the Japanese equivalent of like saying adding desu at the end of all of your sentences <laughs> please is my verbal tick i guess <laughs> sanai bad oh really so should i save sanai so i should save sanai for last because i was actually thinking of doing sanai like maybe next but if you're gonna tell me that you if you're gonna tell me that sanai is bad then i think i should avoid her the m let's let's take a look at this ending. I can't wait to see all the endings in this game, dude. 
So yeah, what's Yo? Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen since we've seen Yomu. When was the last time Yomu did anything? It was an imperishable night, wasn't it? No, 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 no. She was in Phantasmagoria Flower View. I remember. So I just didn't do her story because I didn't play all shot types in Phantasmagoria Flower View. <laughs> so yeah, that was the last time she appeared. What was her story like in that game? I guess I should beat the game with Yomu to find out. Because I am going to beat every game with every shot type. But I really didn't like the style of, of that game. So I beat it with... I, I got my first 1cc and I'm like, okay, this isn't fun. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> it was 10 desires after all. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Also... Like, Yomu is a difficult shot type, but to was it was hard to figure, it was hard to learn, but with all the practice that I did, I was able to, like, figure it out. So, I, I can see why Yomu is a bit busted. <laughs> but yeah, Sirs Capricus, I'm, I'm glad to have you here, man. I hope to see you more. I, 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 I could use the support, I'm, especially since I, I would like to one day be able to score on some of these games. That's what I'm thinking. But, obviously not now, and probably not next year either. When I get good, I will try to score run. Yomu reported what had happened this time to Yuko Sai Saiyoji. I can never say that name right. Saigyoji? Is it Saigyoji? It must be, because it's Japanese, right? sa i gyo gyo Because the U is silent. So, Sai Gyoji. Sai Gyoji. I think that's how you say that. Yuko Sai Gyoji. I like how we're in 10 desires, and I'm and I'm and I'm still trying to figure out how to pronounce Yuko's last name. Like, I never figured that out in Perfect Cherry Blossom. <laughs> Sai Gyoji. Yeah. Sai Gyoji. Not Sai Gyuji. <laughs> like Yumu. <laughs> Also, what is this font? This font is different from the the font I'm used to in the um, other games. What did you say? Oh, look at you! Look at Yuko! Oh my god! Yo, I think Yuko is one of my favorite characters in, in the entire Toho series. Like, no joke. Like, even... Like, maybe I, I might like Yuko more than Yomu. I don't know if that's based or stupid. But... <laughs> I don't know though, I really love Yomu a lot. So I, that that would be really difficult to say. But Yuko is is just is just really derpy. <laughs> so did Miko ever did Miko actually get revived or what? Like what happened? Like like did Miko get revived or did we kill her? Like how does that work out? A short time later. Oh! How is becoming a Shikaisen going? Ah, yes! I figured! That's exactly what I expected to happen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I see Yomu's not surprised as well. Is that a menorah? In the background? Oh my gosh. I like how Zune put the- the- put Yuko's name on the back of Yuko's head. Just- just to make it clear that yes, that is Yuko right there. In case you didn't know, that right there, it's Yuko, right? That- that- that's Yuko. There's no question about it. <laughs> Reviving people is really difficult. You almost got revived yourself, didn't you? Or no, you didn't. Or did she? I'm forgetting how Perfect Cherry Blossom went. In Perfect Cherry Blossom, she tried to... Trying to remember the story. In Perfect Cherry Blossom, Yuko tried to gather cherry petals to revive the tree, which was over her grave, but she didn't know it was her grave. And doing that was going to resurrect her body. And she has, like, a terrifying power of being able to kill people, I think. That was, that was the... I think that was the story of Perfect Cherry Blossom, and that's why we had to stop her. I don't, I don't exactly. That, that's probably like really wrong. Lore keepers are probably like fuming. 
Yuma wondered as she watched Yuko's sleeping face. Ending number seven. It's a pain having a lazy master. Oh man, dude. Ending number seven. So yeah, ending, wait. Ending number seven. Oh, wait, somebody mentioned this to me. That every character, wait, oh shit. Somebody told me that every character has two endings. Like in Imperishable Night. Is there like a final A and a final B in this game? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Just because uh, there was that one person that said that. They're, they were probably blowing smoke, but I don't wanna... I don't, I don't want to be missing anything. Bad endings. Victory was reached, but was costly, and the hero heroine decides to retreat for a mix of reasons and plans another attempt. Yomu differs, as it has Yomu saying she could stick to guarding, but finds no peace. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal endings. And then parallel endings. What? There are four bad endings... Four normal endings and four parallel endings, adding up to a total of 12 endings. What the fuck? But it doesn't tell me how to get them. To get an alternative ending for the character you are using, you must clear the game on normal mode or higher without using any continues and have three or more bombs in stock. Are you gonna go for the alternate ending? Well, of course. Of course I'm gonna go for the alternate ending. Okay, let me write that down. I'm gonna write that down, because that's something I'm gonna have to know. You would basically have to get a bomb extend and not bomb for the rest of the game. That's- yeah! That basically turns the final boss into a- into a no bomb run. Oh gosh, that's scary. But hey, here's the thing though, right? Here's the thing. How are you supposed to figure that out, by the way? Does Zoom tell you? So are you 1CCing the whole game eight, ti eight times? Looks like it, Family Toho. Holy, looks like we've got our work cut out ahead of us. <laughs> oh boy. I can't wait, wait, wait for that. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. Here's the deal. We're not going to, we're, we're not going to do that. Should I do that the next stream? Or should I wait until I get a little better at the game? And then do it. <laughs> I think I should wait until I get better. But then I might lose my, my, I might get rusty with, with, uh, oh my gosh, no bombing Nico. That complete, that changes everything. That changes everything. No bomb Nico is a, cha as a challenge. I don't know, how, how would that go? How, how would that, like... Oh my gosh. Okay, but that's that's a that is going to be something we we will worry about another time. Yeah, the patterns are easy. We we do have that. But definitely for Miko, some of the patterns that Miko had, I just kind of relied on my bombs. And like let's not forget though that I did have two lives. I had two lives remaining, and I did get to Miko with three bombs last time. So, like, I mean, but here's the thing, Miku gives you bomb pieces. She gives you bomb pieces. So if you make it to her with two bombs, you can still get a third bomb. So you actually don't have to make it to her. How many bomb pieces does she give you? That's the question I have to ask. We could we can see when I look at this replay. Let's take a look at this replay. I want to look at that stage six. I want to look at Miko real quick. Oh my god! 
Yomu just slashing the fuck out of all these enemies just sends me, dude. <laughs> also, she gives one per spell priority. Yeah, let's count them. Let's count them. So right now I have six pieces, right? And if I miss a piece, I'll be able to spot it, right? Let's see how this Miko fight went. How many resources did I use? We came into here with four lives, which means we can get hit four times. <gasps> but every time you get hit, you lose power. <gasps> Yeah, this isn't so simple. But she gives you so many full powers, though. She drops so much power every spell. So it might not be the worst thing. Yeah, let's count this. If she gives you eight, then you only have to make it to Miko with two bombs. Also, okay, here's the thing. This might not be accurate because I actually microed through so much crap this time around. You know what I mean? Like, I, I successfully microed through everything. And that usually doesn't happen. <gasps> this is a- Oh my god, I just had a Giga Brain moment! Look at this! I came here with one bomb. And so here I use a bomb, and then when you die, you get two bombs. So here's something you can do. What if you came to her with three bombs and zero bomb pieces? Huh? Huh? Oh, now we're, now we're using our brain meats. All right, here's the strategy. Come here with three bombs, four lives, and zero bomb pieces. If she gives you eight bomb pieces by the time we're done with this fight, then... You will get an extra bomb after you die, totaling three bombs, because you respawn with two bombs. So that gives you an extra... So it actually doesn't have to be a no-miss, or not a no-bomb. You could bring bombs to the beginning. I think it's five pieces. Let's see. So we... There's one. There's one bomb. I, th I think I missed it. I did miss it. So, but let's keep keep that keep it that in mind. If if it's every spell, then she has five extends, which means it would be six. It should be six pieces. But that was one. Big P is one power. Okay, so not a full power. The final doesn't give it? Are you sure? Okay, well let's... Counting anyway. I think I'm getting a hang of that. I, I have an understanding of, of how that spell works. That's two. That's two bomb pieces. And let's not forget, I can use trans mode to get one more bomb piece, if need be. Assuming I don't lose it. That's three. Okay. Playtime's over! Yo, this run was 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 so good, dude. It's a good thing this game is easy. Oh, you know what? No wonder this game is easy. That's why the game is easy. Because Zoom wants you to beat it with three bombs in the pocket. And that is- that's where the difficulty's gonna be. That's how- that's how this game is gonna be hard. Okay, that's four. Legacy of Lunatic Kingdoms. True ending is for no miss. 
That's five. That's true, but here's the thing. Legacy Lunatic Kingdom has point device mode. So. Nobody nobody gets the true ending from playing um, Legacy mode. And it does give you one! That's six! They all give you one! That's six! So that's six! You get six bombs! You get six bombs! Or not six bombs, you get six bomb pieces throughout this fight. If you use trans mode, you can get seven. Wait, I already have another transmitter. Holy. Dude, that's sick. I need to keep track of that as well, because if I can use trans to survive a spell, I should. Um, but yeah. So, you have trans mode, you, you, you can also bring bombs at the beginning, and then when you die... So yeah, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a way to, to do this. Um, uh, final doesn't give bombs? It did. It just did. I just, I just saw it give, give bombs. So... Yeah, so we so you get six bombs, six bomb pieces, right? Because she starts out with she starts out with seven extends. S um seven no, six no, she has six extends. She let me let me count them here. She has six extends or seven extends. Six I think she has six extends, but but Z zero ex you have to remember zero extends counts as a life because the zero counts as a life and the zeroth life is the one you're thinking about doesn't have a doesn't have a doesn't have a bomb that's not her final it's her final extend her last extend has a bomb yeah it's six so all of her extends have a bomb piece six extends six bomb pieces very simple all right Let's look at the extra stage before we before we go to um, Super Mario Odyssey. Can't wait to see this. All right. Oh, I like how <laughs> I like how you can choose your character, but I only have one character. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see what the extra stage has in mind. On a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult is this extra stage? With 10 being the most difficult extra stage in the whole series. What hit me? That was weird. I, I really thought I figured that out. Nui? What are you doing here? Hello? I was not expecting to see you here. What's up? Oh my god. Yo, I haven't... What? Okay, I kind of want to beat Nui before doing this stage then. I did not think Nui was going to be here. Holy crap. Yeah, what's Nui doing here? What the hell? Okay, Nui kicked my ass. Just like ju just like she did in UFO. This is Muren Temple where she lives and she's friends with the boss. I see.
Mm. Do you think I'll make it to the uh, to the boss this time around? Also, I didn't read. Did anybody actually put any numbers down for how difficult this stage is? You don't know? Oh, okay. You might as well route extras as Yomu's always best. Oh, so Yomu is best. Okay. Alright, well. I'm determined to at least make it past New A. Just so you guys know. So if you guys want to click off... It's, uh, I don't blame you, because I'm going to be beating my head against the wall for a while. You know who's not here? Odyssey Squid Dog, and he's the one who I feel like should be here for, for, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Are you sure Yomu's the best for this? Because it doesn't seem like she's doing much damage to Nue. I had a feeling this bot this this pattern was gonna get harder. Oh god, it's like Flandra's spell. Oh no, it's not. Oh shit. This is weird. That's a funky ass spell. Interesting. I like that spell! That's a fun little spell! I wish there were more spells like that. That was cute. Oh, please let me make it to, uh, to whoever the this boss is. Yep. Okay. It didn't let me see it. It robbed me of my- it robbed me of, uh, of a bomb. But I doubt I would have been able to make it anyway. Well, we made it past Nui, so if- even if I don't- if- even if I don't succeed, we at least did that. Okay, this is the first time we made it to Nui with, uh with full power and two lives. Okay. Yeah, New Age just decided, hey, I'm gonna ignore the fact that you pressed bomb and just, uh, just kill you, even though you used a bomb there. I really, I really hate it when that happens, dude. Like, I'd like to see the fi the, the extra stage boss today, please. We're almost at a trans now, but uh, unfortunately I don't think we're going to get it before uh, Nui kills us. Unless we're able to kill her right here, right now. Like, we'd have to beat her first spell without dying, which I don't think is happening because these, these bullets move so weird. I hate that they can move backwards. Okay? No, that- even that's not enough trans. Okay. I don't think it matters. I don't think you can get enough trans to, uh... To actually... To actually, uh... Do anything to new way. I mean, you can build up trans so you can do damage to her after she kills you, but...
Oh, I didn't have any bombs. Okay, that's fine. Hey! We made it! Alright! Hey, at least we made it! We get to get to see who the, uh, who the final, who the, uh, extra boss is. We won't be able to beat her, but, or him. Ha! As if. As if there would be a male Toho character. <laughs> Hello there. Oh! Is this- that's Mamazo, right? Nui's friends with Mamazo? I didn't know that. I guess I'm half yokai. How indecisive. I didn't know that she was an extra stage boss. I thought that this was a CD character. Or a manga character. I've come to show her what for. Oh, I'm okay. Zoon loves this character so much, she shows up everywhere? For real? By the by, I don't sense the aura of a yokai around you at all. I, yeah, it's it seriously surprises me that she's, uh, that she's a, uh, that she's an extra stage boss. Holy crap. Are you truly a yokai? I'm half human, half phantom. I don't know if you could call me a yokai or not. So technically half yokai, right? I don't believe I understand. In any case, I'll treat you as a kind of yokai. Why not allow me to educate you? Is Mamazo a yokai or a human? She does show up as a very relevant character in a lot of manga, yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Cause I cause I hear about her a lot when people talk about the mangas. Come now Ooh, what is the song? Ooh? Are the yokai of Gensoki are not in danger from that saint's rampages? I should listen to it here, where I'm not fighting. Don't expect to make it through these times alive with such a half-baked response. Oh my god, so how how good is this manga character in actually in fighting? You said you like this theme? Uh-oh. Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay. All right. Um. Uh, I. I'll just use a bomb. Thank you. Okay. Oh, a bomb easily break. You're not supposed to bomb through that. Wow. Ow. That was a really difficult non. I didn't like that at all. Sarah's did, but I find this theme funny, yes. Okay. So- ah! Oh my god! Don't scare me like- Oh! Oh, I get it! Oh, I don't get it. They like- Okay, I'm understanding it. To this- This is not gonna be a- Something that I do. Okay. I, I think I, I know, I got the gist of it, I just did it, I still, I did, I just suck. Hey, though, I got the extra stage, I made it to the, the extra boss. <laughs> Everybody who's here for Toho, thank you for being here, it would mean a lot to me if you followed. I understand if you don't want to stay here for uh, Odyssey, but, um... I, like I said, I'm planning on doing all of the shot types, and I will also be doing all of the endings for this game. So, you will see me do the game with no, with no bombs on Miko. 
But yeah, that was good. That was really good. I'm gonna save the replay here. X X. Wow. And uh, yeah. I'll see you back. We'll 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 take a short break and then I'll be back for some uh, for some Super Mario Odyssey. The music here is kind of foreboding. Oh, can I ride the motorcycle? I can ride it. Yo! What? Yo! Roll! <laughs> Check out Mario's new drip! No! Ah! Okay, alright. 